Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today we're going to be counting down the top five most requested maps to come to Call of the Wild. We're going to have a look at the species that you might find on these five maps. And I actually did pull the community to see which maps you guys would like to see in the future. Now new maps are always very, very exciting. We do get a new map every six months in Call of the Wild, which is very, very exciting. And our next new map will drop in June of this year. I have absolutely no idea what the new map will be, but I do have some hopes. Hello. All right, you can go. Let's see how the 300 does from 300 meters. We got him, beautiful. So today we're gonna look at the most commonly hunted species on these five new maps that hopefully will eventually come to Call of the Wild. Now, new maps are a hot topic and I do feel very grateful that we do get a new map every six months because this really does keep the hype alive for Call of the Wild. New maps are always so exciting, new species to hunt, new terrain, often a new weapon. What could be better? Let's head right into it. Coming in at number five on our list of top five most requested maps to come to Call of the Wild is Asia. Now, upon doing some research, guys, I found out that Asia is paradise for mountain hunters with the largest variety of wild sheep and goats found anywhere in the world. That's very interesting. So I'm gonna list off some of the species that we might see if we were to get a map from Asia. Now, I don't know about you, but I would absolutely love to hunt for tigers in Call of the Wild. Now, another species we might see are pangolins elephants come from Asia, rhinos, musk deer, snow leopard, Sumatran orangutan, oh I would love to hunt for orangutans, markor, Asian black bear, fallow deer are found in Asia, and there are chamois and komodo dragons. Can you imagine hunting for a komodo dragon? They are scary, holy. Now there are also Siberian ibex in Asia and argali, which are mountain sheep. Now, of course, we wouldn't get all of these species on a map. The most any map has ever gotten is nine species, but those are options that we might see if we were to get an Asian map. Now, definitely let me know in the comments, guys, which map you would like to see most in Call of the Wild. Which one would you like to see first? I'm sure all of them sound like amazing options and I would love to hunt for every single one of these species. Yes, please. Now I do have a fun fact here, guys. Pangolins, and I do apologize if I am saying this wrong or any of the names wrong, I am trying, but pangolins are the most hunted animal in the world and they are endangered and very rare now. So I read that. So I don't know how EW goes about dealing with endangered species. I'm pretty sure we do have some endangered species already in the game. I have heard Jaxie say that this is just a game. So as much as they try to be sensitive to endangered species, we do have to remember that this game is not really killing real animals and it is just for fun. So maybe we might be able to get some of those endangered species in the game. We would just have to wait and see. Coming in at number four on our list of top five maps we need in Call of the Wild right now is a Northern Canada map. Now this would be a snow map. So basically in the none of that area. Now I am Canadian, so I would love to see a Canada map and now that I have looked up the species that are in Northern Canada, because I don't live in Northern Canada, I personally would love to hunt these species. So you would find caribou, which we do already have in the game, polar bears, which would be absolutely amazing to hunt, musk ox, which are huge. They very much remind me of bison. Then we have walrus, arctic wolves, ground squirrels. I have been hearing a lot of people ask for squirrels lately, so that checks a box right there. Arctic hare and ptarmigan. Don't those sound amazing to hunt? Yes, please. I'm probably gonna say that a lot in this video. Yes, please. Now, another thing that would be really amazing for a Northern map, and this would also work for Medved, would be dog sleds to get around and hunt off of. I think that would be super cool. Can we please have that EW, please? Moving on to the next map. So coming in at number three on our top five most needed maps to come to Call of the Wild is Texas. Now this map would include whitetail, muleys, alligators, pronghorn, bighorn, javelina, squirrels again, Barbary sheep, doves, could have Eurasian teal. There are many different teals it could have actually. 
pintails or wood ducks. Now I know we already do have a lot of US based maps in the game right now. So I don't know if our next map will actually be a Midwest or Texas map, but those species look absolutely fantastic to me. Now I did find out a few fun facts upon doing some research. I learned that whitetail are almost statewide in Texas and Texas has more whitetail than any other state in the US. So that is really interesting. And alligators were taken off the endangered species list in 1978, so they are no longer endangered. Moving on to the next map, coming in at number two on our top five most needed maps in Call of the Wild would be Australia. Now, when I think of Australia, I think of kangaroos. And I actually read upon doing some research that ordinarily it is illegal to kill, buy, sell, or possess a kangaroo. But in response to the population growth of kangaroos, they can be hunted and three million adult kangaroos are killed every single year in Australia. That is fascinating. Now, if we were to get a map in Australia, we might see species, as I mentioned already, such as kangaroos, which I would absolutely love to hunt, cheetle, hog deer, sambar deer, rusa deer, red deer, and fallow deer, which we already have in the game, squirrels. So there is a good chance we may get squirrels on one of the maps because we're finding them all over. Groundhogs, prairie dogs, red fox, quail pheasants or partridges, and there also are feral pigs, feral goats, feral cats, I can't even imagine shooting a cat. I don't think I could do that, but... And there are dingo, bighorn, and wood ducks. Just to name a few species in Australia. Now, we do have New Zealand in the game right now, and it is an awesome map to hunt, but I really think Australia would be very different from New Zealand, and I think it would be an amazing map. Australia is definitely one of the most popular and most requested maps that the community has asked for. And I almost left one out, and there also is hunting for water buffalo, which are one of the biggest draws. Now, the number one map that the community and I would personally like to see to come to call the wild first and foremost is a second Africa map, an Africa 2.0. This map would have the African big five on it. It would include elephants, leopards, lions, rhinos, and Cape Buffalo. Now, as you know, we do already have Cape Buffalo and lions in the game, but the other three would be absolutely amazing to hunt for. But I would also like to hunt for Sable. There is also Greater Kudu, Nyala, which are part of the Spiral Horn family, Lechwe, Impala, which is the most common antelope species of Africa, Rebuck, which are the most challenging South African antelope to hunt, and of course, there is always Gemsbok and Wildebeest. Now, there is one more that I would love to see on a second Africa map, and that is hyenas. I would love to have lions and hyenas on the same map. Now, I don't know if that's something we'll ever see, but I would love that. Now, guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, take a second, hit that like button. It lets me know that you're enjoying the video and it lets the algorithm know, and I really do appreciate it. Let's continue. Now, I have always wondered what it would be like to hunt elephants in Call of the Wild, seeing as they are such huge species. Now, one way that you could make them challenging is having to get really close to them in order to penetrate the hide, that would make them really challenging because them hiding from us is going to be very challenging. Now, I honestly have absolutely no idea what the next map is going to be in June, but it is very interesting that Ultimate Hunting is coming out with an Africa map with an insane species list. It has a lot of species on it. So I don't know if EW is going to want to compete with that or what is going to happen, but I am very much looking forward to finding out. Now, as I mentioned, I did pull the community and there were some comments for other maps not in the top five. So there were some votes for a rainforest map, which would be very cool. We don't have anything like that in the game a desert map, or possibly a Mongolian map. But with all the different places in the world, the next map could literally be anywhere. But quite honestly, any new map is going to be amazing for me. EW always does an amazing job, and I'm just very grateful that we get a new map every six months. Now, if EW does add a Canada map, I would be happy to commentate for them. Just let me know, EW. Just kidding. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Those are the top five most requested maps that hopefully we will see in Call of the Wild in the near future. Here is hoping. Definitely let me know in the comments which map you would like to see the most and which species on that map you would be most excited to hunt for. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.